to slay the first day of kindergarten? I'm gonna show you how. Slay that picture day. It was like Harley Quinn when she was a baby. Today I am doing the full face using only kids makeup. The packaging is so, so cute. And this is what you're paying for because it's pretty expensive and it's a little ridiculous. This was actually my favorite palette right here. Pretty much all of this is from Claire's and the icing because that's the only place I could really find kids makeup. But I was very surprised at what they had. I feel like they had a lot of stuff that I didn't have when I was younger. You have to be really resourceful when using this stuff because it's not very pigmented. It's definitely a challenge. I have five palettes in front of me with all these different colors and I just went crazy. So I decided to use all the colors on my eyes today. I think it's kind of cute. And I found these little bracelet thingies that are super cute. And I kind of want my nails like this. Next time I go get my nails, I'm gonna show them this and tell them to recreate it on my nails. But isn't it called something like holographic nails or metallic nails or something? So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial. If you wanna see how I got this first day of kindergarten look, then go ahead and keep Why watching. Why do I feel like I'm about to film a Harley Quinn makeup tutorial? I I have so many kids makeup in this room right now. It's it's unreal. I don't even know where to start. I have all these cute little palettes. I was very surprised that they had a primer and a setting spray at Claire's. Kids makeup is definitely stepping up its game. So there's a face primer from Claire's. I feel like, ooh, this smells weird. It smells like tar. Ooh. This is cute. I feel like they make this makeup so that kids can follow along to makeup tutorials on YouTube. That's what I feel like because who would actually make a face primer for kids? That's crazy. We're gonna start off with the foundation first. Let's try to get our face together. I, I have these two BB creams from the icing that I'm gonna mix together and try to make foundation out of. I have a super light one and then a dark one. So I'm gonna see how that goes. Oh, this is not bad. This is probably my skin tone. That's like a medium shade. I probably won't even have to mix. Or that could be my contour. The only brushes that I have to use are these, which is not very much of a selection. By the way, these are $10. $10. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use other brushes. Kids use their hands, so I'll use my hand. Let's put on this BB cream first. Please have some coverage, please. <sighs> some coverage. Okay. This, okay, this BB cream is actually doing a good job at somewhat covering up my darkness and it's covered up some things. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of cream contour with the darker BB cream. All with your finger. This does something for us. Or at least gives us a little bit of color. Come on, cut that nose. Is it a fail? We're done with the foundation. I'm gonna move on to the eyebrows. There's a little cute brush I can use for my brows right here. Let's see what we have for the brows. Okay, there is this adorable little palette right here, but this is no brow colors in it. $17, by the way. This one looks like it has some mattes in it. Let's see if we can find, no. There's no brow color. Okay, let's go to this palette and see what we have. No, no, not this palette either. Like, no. <laughs> Anybody have a brown of some sort? Let's go ahead and take this one out. It's from the Fashion Angels palette. How much was this? Probably so expensive. So here is the little palette. I'm gonna take this brown shade right here. Has there are no such thing as matte shades in kids makeup. So we're gonna take this taupey brown color with a little bit of shimmer in it and we're gonna do our brows. Wish me luck. Oh, this is very, I'm probably gonna have to go into the black eyeliner cause I don't think this is gonna work for me. Okay, I am for sure gonna have to go into the black eyeliner and just, it's literally doing nothing at all. This eyeliner is gonna have to save me. This feels like it's gonna break apart by the way. Since I don't have a spoolie, I'm gonna use this little brush right here to attempt to comb through the brows. Actually, I'll use this side. Okay, it just... <laughs> I'm gonna take some of that BB cream from earlier and just try to clean up my under, under my brow area. What I've learned is if you press really hard, you will get enough coverage to cover the bald spots in your brow. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to the eyeshadow. Let's see, I wanna do something colorful and fun. Cute makeup brushes, by the way. 
They're so adorable. We need to get a close-up of the brushes. They're so cute, but I can't use my whole face with these brushes. Okay, this one I'm definitely using for my face powder. See those two face powders? Yeah, oh no, this is a sponge. This one seems to have some pretty bright colors in it. It's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna use this blush right here for my crease. Okay, wait, before we put on any eyeshadow, let me just put this on my eyes. This face powder right here from this cute little pink little heart palette, this little blue heart, so cute. Put that all over our eyes to set our eyes so they're not creasing like they are right now. I can't believe they give face powder to kids. Now I'm gonna take this bronzy looking blush from this palette right here. I'm gonna mix this and that brow shade I tried to use on my eyebrows right here. I'm gonna put that in my crease. Actually, it's not doing a bad job at blending out. Not a bad job at all. And you got yourself a really nice crease color. I want to go bright on my eyes. I want something very vibrant. As vibrant as we can get it. I'm going to try to use this yellow on the inner corner and then this turquoise on the outer corner. Okay, I'm going to take this little brush right here. This is probably a concealer brush. And I actually, just in case, I have makeup setting spray from Claire's. So I'm going to spritz it on here just in case it's not pigmented enough. Go ahead and take my yellow and pop it on to my inner corners. This isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. I think the makeup setting spray definitely helped. I'm just gonna keep packing that on top. Now we're gonna use the same brush. The other side, I'm gonna go into that turquoise. Just rub it in there nice and hard. I'm gonna put it on the outer part of the eye. Go bright or go home. This is pretty pigmented. I am very surprised. Am I hitting pan already? Plastic. I'm gonna go back in with this brush right here and just blend everything out as best as I can. Soften the middle here. Okay, as soon as you blend it out, it just completely wipes it away. So change of plans. We are gonna do pink on the outer corner because I'm gonna use this really bright pink right here and put it on the outer part of the eye. We are making purple today, an art class. So we're just gonna blend that out. I personally kind of like the way it looks with the reddish, pinkish shade on top of everything. I don't know, it just gives it something. EDC vibes. Okay, I actually think this is turning into a Harley Quinn makeup tutorial. I'm just gonna do multicolored eyeshadow on my eyelids today because there's so many colors and I can't choose which one I want. So I'm gonna do purple on the crease. I'm gonna take this purple right here and blend that into my crease. This is what happens when you put 30 palettes in front of me and there's so many colors to choose from. I just wanna use all of them. This is gonna be one big rainbow on my face. Come on, rainbow. That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. I think this is good. We have a lot of fallout on our face. I'm gonna use that light blush on my eyebrow. The only thing this these nails are good for are digging and looking pretty. Totally make you handicap in every other aspect of your life. So I'm just gonna take some of this shade right here and I'm gonna work that onto my brow bone. Now I'm gonna try to put on this liquid liner. When your eyeliner gets bigger and bigger and streakier and streakier. <laughs> Great. To the lashes, I'm just gonna use, these are not from Claire's, these are just regular ones from Violet Boss. I'll have them listed below if you guys wanna see what kind these are. Ouch. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this face powder, just get into it, like my life depends on this powder. I'm just going to pat it onto my face, hopefully it sets everything <laughs> in place. I think I'm taking off the BB cream more than anything, but we'll make it work. Oh, I just broke the whole palette. Oh, wait a minute. I have a, a really light eyeshadow here I can use for under my eyes. Pack that on. It's this palette right here. I'm gonna take this shadow and just, it smells so good by the way. It smells like candy. I'm gonna take this shadow and just work it into my eyes with the same brush. 
This, this powder is bringing my under eyes back to life. I love it. Ooh. Since we're here, I'm just gonna go down the nose on the Cupid's bow. I'm gonna go back into the eyes on the lower lash line and I'm going to put a bright purple right here. Okay, so for sure, this setting spray helped with the eyeshadow. For sure. Now I'm gonna take some glitter. I have this glitter stick right here. Here we go. I'm just gonna take that purple glitter right there and I'm gonna pop that onto the bottom part of my lash line. I'm gonna take a little bit of setting spray. You never know, this might help. That's kind of cute. This is really speaking to my childhood right now. This is giving me so many memories because I would love to play with this kind of stuff. Ooh, I like it. Some mascara on my cute little mirror. And for the cheeks, there is this really pretty bright pink. I'm gonna use the actually, I'm gonna, ah. I'm gonna use this pink blush on my cheeks today. I'm gonna go ahead and take my powder brush and just dig into that baby pink and work that onto my cheeks. Okay, so next I'm gonna do the highlight. For the highlight, there is this beautiful uh, highlight and it's this one right here. I already swatched it. Well, it's a little pinky. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and highlight with it. I'm gonna add a little bit of this white too. Just gonna add both of them together. There we go. Ooh, yes, give it to me. Don't give it to me that much. A little bit right there, right there. Ow, I'm literally poking my eye out with these nails. I don't know how to handle these nails when your nails are too fierce for your own self. And we are looking good. Okay. Next and the final step is the lips. There's this lipstick right here. They call it a lipstick. It's like a crayon. And I'm just gonna use this on my lips. Let's see. Ooh, it's actually pretty bright. Nice. All right, that is the finished look. And it's not that bad. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, thumbs it up. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. The red button is right above my head for you guys. If you happen to have missed my last two videos, they are below my box. You can check them out right there. And that's it. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, dollies.